Oklahoma City in a rematch of this season opener as the Thunder return home for the holiday and welcome the Utah Jets. Wiggins getting that first start of his career is always a very, very exciting moment for a young player. Wiggins, Giddy, and JRE in the first bucket of the game for the Thunder comes from a little spin move. Trip and an empty opportunity for Utah. Dort is going to drill his second three-point attempt of the game. He missed his first, not the second. Well, you, you got to make the jab. Shot got the miss. Finds a cutting giddy. He'll kick it back outside. A wide open door three. And he buries it from the outside. I, I tell you, he's shooting that corner three, man, like he's sitting over. Downtown. Third most in the NBA. Giddy. Nice move. Got Hassan Whiteside in the spin cycle. And the turnaround drops in. You know, I don't know if in the rim. And how about Giddy just snatching that ball away? And then a little bit of a deception pass. They thought he was going to pass it over to Wiggins in the corner. I tell you, the kid's got Perifa. He is a big guy as well. Oh, beautiful pass. Giddy threads it right to Kenridge Williams, cutting on the baseline. That's why a lot of times some coaches call timeout with teams. Not anticipating that. Today might be having a slow half, but the Thunder are picking up some steam as they are playing fast basketball. Not allowing the Jazz to set up their defense. Now, there's no shot blocker in the game, so you can see uh, efficiency over the past three seasons. Prior to that, they were always struggling to make 100 points. JRE left wide open straight away, 36% on the season, and he registers the three. And he's making Rudy Gobert pay the price as the defense, and that's fine. Because, you know what, if you're predictable, they're going to guard you that way. And he's very tricky, crafty, and tight quarters with the basketball. And that's not tight quarters. As Mr. Gobert said, look, rookie, I don't. Now there's still time for OKC. Hand off, Giddy. Can he get it off in time? He's going to count from downtown at the buzzer. I, I just said it, and I'll say it again. I don't know what he, what he wants to do, but i tell you one thing, that's OK because he's just unpredictable, and just like that, he'll make you pay the price for it. The officials are going to give it a second look just to confirm as Mark Davis goes over to the monitor, but Giddy with all kinds of pressure on him. The vigilance, even with O'Neal knocking it free momentarily, the regather, the shot, and the bucket to close it out. And that is going to count. Josh Giddy knew it. The three-point shot, a major asset for the Thunder. Eight of them. As Jack, because of his three-point shooting, just adding to what is already a deep arsenal for the Jazz. Giddy got right by O'Neal in the reverse layup as he spun it home. The speed on the drive in the fourth quarter with a solid defensive play like that. And the back door. and find that shooter. Oh, Giddy had the vision, and for the second time, it's Kenrich Williams right at the cup for the easy deuce. Got sniffed out and busted up by OKC. Here is Giddy driving hard to finish in transition. And that's something that's hard to do, is to confuse the Jazz on an alley -oop play. And that's what the Thunder did as it threw Rudy Gobert. It's Baisley. Is shut off. Up to the top, it's a giddy catch fire three to tie this game at 101. And both these teams have been throwing sand in each other's eyes all night, folks. Possessions for Utah. But Mitchell had been just completely nullified as that three from JRE over the outstretched arm of O'Neal rips the cords. And it's a we're able to play toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Utah Jazz here tonight as Giddy's heave sounds the buzzer, and it's Utah prevailing.